shiny and new are two words we very mm. rarely use to describe the MBTA, but that is changing. The T recently put a dozen brand new train cars in service, and hundreds more are on the way. Tonight, I have an inside look at the making of the trains of the future. Trains moving. This orange line train moves slowly and can't make it more than a few hundred feet without stopping. But hold your jokes, because this is by design. It's an MBTA test track in Springfield, and it sits just outside of a behemoth factory, where inside, the T is ratcheting up its $1 billion bet on better trains. We want to run the system that our customers want us to run. The T's deputy GM, Jeff Gonneville, took me on a tour of the assembly plant. It's actually owned by CRRC, a Chinese train company contracted by the T. CRRC makes this 80,000-pound shell of a train in China, then ships it here. Local workers get them all wired up. One bad connection can short-circuit a commute for thousands. Watch your fingers. The empty insides get bench seats and new theater-style seats that can flip up. So our current trains right now do not have these flip seats. That's correct. It's all about the floor space. Every single car can fit at least 30 extra people. These investments that we're making in the system now are going to be a huge part in offering reliable service. The trains are designed with much bigger door openings. We have a 72-inch clear door opening. That is massive. Six feet wide. It helps the so-called dwell time. That's how long it takes to get people to move off and on. We really want to hold to about a 45-second dwell time at all of our key downtown stations during the peak. Part of making that happen is making it easier for people to get on and off of the trains. The warehouse is filled with trains. Here they install and test what are basically the shocks of the train. And in this huge glass box, the train cars are blasted with water traveling 150 feet per second. They want to make sure these trains can stand up to the worst possible weather without leaking. And then it's out to that test track to nowhere. There's going to be a lot of brand new trains coming down these test tracks in Springfield. 404 cars in total to be built. 252 red line, 152 orange line, and the hope is to have them on the real tracks in Boston by early 2023. About a dozen orange line cars are already in service. And a couple of weeks ago, a set of new red line cars were shipped into South Boston. The wraps came off, they went into a testing phase, and should be ready in a few months. The MBTA itself is going to be a very modern system, and it's something that we are really excited about. New and improved. When was the last time anyone was able to say that about the T? Now, trains, even new trains, are only as good as the tracks and the signals. Tomorrow night at 11, I'll take you out onto the tracks to show you the work that's being done there while the MBTA has been shutting down service on nights and weekends. Which people are really interested and excited in, just that's, to see what's finally going to happen. There. That's the meat and the potatoes that really get the uh, whole thing working. Well, that's an apt metaphor for what we need right now with